everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk World Talk Show presented by Clickaway Creators. Today we have Barrister Farzana Sheila with us. Barrister Farzana is the owner of Law Bell Barrister and Advocates. Her practice focuses on complex civil litigation, corporate matters, civil liberties, professional responsibility, and white collar criminal matters. Her diverse practice includes representation of large corporate entities whose operation could expose them to significant liabilities such as legal advisor of estate developers, power development projects, consultancy of Hearson Corporation Korea, consultancy for Siemens Germany substation project, and national power development project. Now, uh, without further ado, let's dive into more uh, about Fazana. So, hi, best of Fazana. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks uh, for the introduction. Me, it was very nice, and thank you for the interview. All right. So, uh, Mr. Fazana, we would like to know something about you, like uh, something about your journey or how it all started. Yeah, uh, well, uh, I am uh, brought in, born in Dhaka. I studied uh, missionary school and college. And then I went to the UK and study my LLB honors and then did my Barrett Law. And also I did my PhD, uh, London School of Law and Business. And uh, after finishing my study, I back to my country 2004 and started my um, practice. And uh, so far uh, I spent nearly 16 to 17 years in my career and uh, uh, all that, you see. All right. So now uh, please tell us about the le complex legal issue that you worked on and also describe the complexity and tell us how you approached it. Uh, well, uh, during my career, uh, I have handled several complex legal issues in that my last 16 years practice. I believe all cases have their own complexity and it is for the lawyer to decide how he dealt with it. And such complexity or is tax of the same. Client always pass their burden to the client, lawyer, and lawyer should take their responsibilities with their task with their brain and their what they did and learned them from previous. Though I have experience in both individual and corporate, I prefer to handle commercial issue, issues pertaining to corporate client. I have handled several cases successfully, ranging international contract, breach of contract cases, and uh, Bangladesh government against the government cases, read petition and human rights issues. And I go through uh, lots of money suit cases and I successfully did this. Uh, basically, when uh, I come in complicity cases, I actually uh, get a framework. Uh, firstly, I um, take a framework, the situation, the task, and what would be the action and how I resolve it. Uh, in this situation, uh, uh, I think need more strategically and systematically in more complex ways. Understand the bigger picture of the client business industry environment and the context what they want, relate from the client's point of view and demonstrate more effective problem, solving and decision-making when faced the unpredictable situation. And uh, uh, I always try to approach it. I made a plan to please to deal with the legal issues or dispute, review the documents such as contract or the depend on the matter which I deal with, speak to my colleagues, senior advocates, 
who is very professional and attempt to reconcile and if habitation if possible that's it all right uh, so that was uh, very nicely explained now uh, i would like to ask you in the era of legal technology what are the most commonly used tools by you uh, well uh, in the era of legal technology the digital era has certainly made uh, lips easier to in terms the legal research examination of legal profession virtual submission legal writing publication and uh, of legal research digital court hearing however the primary sources or tools of all the legal research and analysis continues to be books or statute but at the now uh, we we actually uh learn from the e library yeah all these sources are indeed dispensable for legal research and the lawyer lawyer mostly often rely on the primary offline tools for making their submission and argument before the court of law various others online tools are also used for networking with lawyer across the world commenting with clients creating legal awareness amongst the public though the covid-19 pandemic has changed the real world into the digital world our team lawbel have quickly adapted to these changes the most common tools for me actually online libraries online file storage like dropbox document management e document tools meeting with clients cloud based database and uh, etc uh, mostly i actually use for this tools okay. now uh, now that we are still in between the pandemic so the pandemic saw some courts begin moving towards more remote proceedings and availability is this sustainable and a possible way to increase access to justice in your opinion uh, uh well uh, there is no doubt that the pandemic of the economy and business has shifted from the physical world to the digital world at the moment for this one can salute the supreme court of bangladesh for hearing taken quick initiative and starting the system of virtual hearing there is no doubt that virtual hearing helped several courts to continue with the dispensation of justice despite the pandemic since march 2020 of the covid 19 virtual hearing hearing become a reality and all urgent cases were taken up by the supreme court and high court however the country has to go miles before the legal system can digitalize satisfactorily the current system across bangladesh is the pandemic has enabled e filing virtual appearance and hearing etc uh in your uh, from your question i'd like to Uh, added some things regarding increase access to justice my opinion is that uh, i am actually emphasis uh, those point we need to point it out may increase our justice system uh, eight years alternative resolution method we need to uh, continuity of basic legal services ensuring access to justice minority groups because in the pandemic minority group most of the countries actually they are very uh, bad position domestic violence in the pandemic is increasing day by day we need to uh, increase the justice uh, for there and enhancing access to justice through collaboration and integration of service uh, such as the legal aid and legal support which we call and promoting equality and inclusion through the justice system ensuring justice elderly and the children most of the countries the labor law and like this uh, day by day increasing in pandemic situation and increase increasing effectiveness through evidence based plan i mostly think about these things right so uh... 
Thank you so much for sharing such great insights with us. And we look forward to having a chat with you again in the future on some other trending topics in the international legal world. So for our viewers, if you like this chat with uh, Barrister Fazana Sheila, please like and share this video as much as you can. And also subscribe to Click Away Creators YouTube channel to appreciate what we do. And you have more coming from the legal space. So this is Nikhil for Let's Talk World signing off.